Hello everyone, this is Scotty White of World Combat Sports. I got the one and only Chicago Finest, Mr. ESPN Don't Blink, Joshua Grizz Jr. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, bro. Thanks for having me. Hey, you in here, you know, supporting your um, teammates. Talk a little bit about the trip up here, man. How was it oh, for man, you? It was a decent trip. I flew over from L.A. Uh, can't complain first class, so I got to lay back and, you know, enjoy the uh, plane ride. You know, you coming off Giovanni um, Delgado, you know, um... Um, the last one, Gio, Giovanni Eskiner. What's next, man? Is there anything we can know about Joshua Greer that's coming closer to that world title shot? Hopefully, uh, uh, well, you know, I'm ranked across the board, you know, so I'm sure everybody that top rank put in front of me is for a reason. So uh, we should be having a fight day coming soon in June, and I'm looking to uh, keep an eye, annihilating all my opponents. How does it feel now, man, from the kid? You know, not the kid, the um, young man that was sitting in there eating eggs in front of live videos, man, to now being at such a high level, man, and, and your performance is speaking for themselves. Most definitely, it's a humbling experience. I mean, it always feels good, but, you know, uh, I like to keep myself level-headed to where I don't want it to get the best of me. I still want to be the same person, stay the same way, and just uh, motivate, you know what I mean, uh, my city. And I see you out here in the community, man. That's a good look. You know, they talk about cats like yourself. You know, coming from the streets, you talked about how you never graduated, but yet you highly intelligent in the ring. You speak well. You highly intelligent out here in the streets. What is that from, man? You know, how is you? How are you changing that thread and carrying yourself out here? The most, uh, the most important thing is um, I didn't uh, go to school, bro, but I educate myself every day. I read every day, and uh, I study every day, and I. Uh, elevate myself as a person, especially when I'm in camp, I elevate myself not just in boxing, but as a person too, and myself mentally. So I'm always looking to better myself, and uh, that's how I just get better with time. Now that I see with your opponents, before they were just trying to bully you for no damn reason. Yeah. And you, and you maintain your composure, man. It's wild, man. That's, that's why I support you wholeheartedly. Your all-around skill set, the way you carry yourself. What do you contribute that to? What's going on, going on in your thought process when they lose their mind during the face-off and then you go in there and stop them? Well, I mean, boxing is fun to me. I mean, I don't, I don't take it personal. I'm not, my, you can't get the best of my emotions, you know. When I got the best of your emotions, then I know I can affect your, your outcome in the ring. And once that happens, then it's a done deal. Absolutely. So, um, how far are we looking for you before you step back in the square there, Joshua Greer? Uh, I should be back in, in, in June. Okay, June. So we're we're probably a couple of fights, maybe three off from you getting the big title shot. I don't even think that many, honestly. Oh, all right. Because I, you know, I got to pull the exclusives yeah, from you, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that many. But it's definitely good. I got some big things on the horizon. Hey, what I want to tell you, World Combat Sports, man, man to man. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Um, thank you wholeheartedly, man. As a fighter, I really truly think right now you're changing the sport. Yeah. You know, just like you've been changing your life and your promotion um, with top rank Jay Prince and your whole entire team. I see how you treat your boy, Nathaniel Gallimore. Y'all still rolling together. And you're going in there performing, man. You always give love and reach back to the people who've been there since day one. Most definitely. That's, what's the, that's what it's all about. I wouldn't be there if it wasn't for those people. The position I'm in, it takes many people around me, great people around me to make it happen. And it took everybody to see the same vision for me and it took these same guys that it didn't matter what position it was in, they all had the same goal and that was to see me to see me succeed and that's what's most important. Do you still train at Garfield or are you just full time out there at Pullman? No, I'm full time at uh, Pullman's gym. John Pullman is uh, my only trainer, my head trainer and uh, we work day in, day out. Last two questions. There, um, Mr. ESPN, don't blink. Two fights that your stable mates, Shakur Stevenson and Terrence Crawford. Uh, I feel like uh, Terrence Crawford, I feel like he's going to win by knockout, and I won't be surprised either. Uh, I feel like Shakur is going to shock a lot of people and uh, win by knockout too, because if you give him a lot to work with, then that's where you mess up. And that guy, he's going to give him a lot to work with. He's going to open up a lot, and that's when Shakur is going to, uh, you know, put his punch together. And definitely, I feel like they get him out of there. Yeah, most definitely. But Shakur is not a stranger to this game. He's been in there with the best for Spartan and everything else. So even though Spartan is not the fight, but trust me, um, in these situations, this is where you come, show up, and show out. And that's what I feel like. This is a Shakur breakout fight to show up and show out.
What about um, Terrence Bud Crawford and Amir Khan? Yeah, I feel like this is uh, Bud. Well, I feel like Bud fought better guys than him, but I just True. feel like, as far as name wise, this is another breakout opponent for Bud and for Bud to get that uh, UK fan base and everything. It's a great opportunity for him, also. Outstanding. I'm going to leave it there. Don't blink. Yeah. You know, Shaw Town Fine is right here. Don't blink. You know, I you know I keep on telling people. I say, really, your only blemish is when you was actually trying to figure out what weight class. You know, but you you basically undefeated anyway. You know, and you're on like a 17 fight win streak, man. So salute to you from World Combat Sports. Thank you, Thank you very much for the Thank first time, and continue to go out there and um, knock them out. Don't blink. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it.